If you fly at one light year per second, what would happen? Where would you eventually arrive? At the speed of light, you could circle the Earth seven times in one second. But at one light year per second in one second, you would fly out of the solar system. In 10 seconds, you would reach the brightest star in the night sky, Sirius. 40 seconds, you would arrive at 55 Cancri E, a place filled with diamonds. Just grab a few, you'll be a billionaire. After 10 minutes, you would see the most habitable exoplanet for humans, Kepler-22b. Its environment is very similar to Earth's. With our current technology, it would take over 10 million years to get here. After two hours of flying, the beautiful pillars of creation would appear before you. They are so stunning that they are listed as top 10 photos taken by the Hubble telescope. After six hours, you would burst out of the Milky Way. Looking back at the Milky Way, you would find that it is incredibly dreamy and captivating. After 29 days of flying, you would arrive at the Andromeda Galaxy, which is much larger than the Milky Way. It contains a trillion stars, a truly breathtaking sight. After 115 days, you would fly out of the local group, comprising over 50 galaxies including the Solar System and Andromeda Galaxy, reaching its outer edge. After three years of flying, you would discover that the local group is actually part of an even larger galaxy cluster called the Virgo Supercluster. After 16 years, you would see the feather-like Laniakea Supercluster and the Milky Way being just a dot on one of its feathers. After 100 years, you would arrive at the universe's largest known black hole, Tun 618. Do you dare to venture inside and explore its mysteries? After flying for over a thousand years, we would reach the edge of the observable universe. This is approximately 47 billion light years from Earth. However, this is not the true size of the universe because a radius of 46.5 billion light years is only the scope of the universe that humans can currently estimate. Some scientists believe that beyond this, there may still be an immense and boundless cosmic space, so you can never truly reach the actual edge of the universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video.